When you add in the Zyra for uh, counter engage as well as Azir and the Wall of Soldiers, quite a decent amount of disengage here for Team Envy. Just goes for the safe chunk onto Meteos and then tries to kill the Raptors. But man, Ryu is actually getting punished heavily under his turret. And that might dissuade Meteos from going for this little skirmish. Ooh, nice route onto Arrow. A lot of damage there. He's got to pop the heal. Still nearly loses his life for that one. Actually, yeah, plenty of punishment there. No one pulling aggro. And really nice trade for the Envy duo lane. And I've got to wonder how much of that is actually pre-planned. Lyra's saying, I want to kill my blue late on purpose so I can steal and not have it counteracted. I think it's pretty reliable that you can get an advantage in the bottom lane here. And there they go. So you see landing, shaming an arrow. Not even a chance to do this one now. Oh, there's the repel to drop back. They're going to walk away because the turret is low and that'll die next wave. Pretty much perfectly executed tower dive. Adrian's got to hide again. And looks like it'll be first blood and first turret for Envy. Take this opportunity to store away this Infernal Drake for later in the game. Mm -hmm. If they can stall out this, this Envy Snowball, then that will matter a lot. See this one right away. They go on to Apollo. Got a flash. Who's got to block those shots? One missed, one blocked. And second one blocked as well. Apollo still burning out Seraph's ultimate and burning out both of his summoners. But Zig with a very offensive opening on Maokai. Second of the triple rings here. Yep. Uh, Meteos gets snared up. Oh, the knockoff is there, but he's able to flash and leap away. Takes the exhaust as well. And yeah, not the worst trade of summoners. Um, currently, though, Envy still have a lot of deep vision. Almost all of Meteos' camps are warded up. They even have one on the wolves as well. Ninja gets a huge chunk. And he's got no ult, so it's Ooh! Oh. Oh. Corrupting potion! Flash R! Dodge the Kakuja's barely. Lyra still on the hunt. Not going to find anything to repel to and not <laughs> go for it, but Ninja very nearly going down. Yeah, Ryu, super aggressive move there. He's lucky that Lyra missed that cocoon in his flash over. Yeah. Been a weak season for them so far, but why are they not in the same bush? Uh, it's a bait. <laughs> uh, ah, behind bush number oh two. Oh my god, that did matter. Nothing to do about that. Uh, All right, that's a good kill. <laughs> Adrian didn't need any extra range on his uh, his portion. Yeah, perfect. Maybe go to look for a roam mid. Didn't decide to. Quick recalls out of the P1 duo as well. They've got a brush and or a ward in every single one of these brushes. Oh, Adrian, <laughs> no! <laughs> You don't need to E the minion wave. That is terrible risk reward. Yo, Adrian, respect Projection. the arrow damage here. Apollo is the one who actually finds the snipe. Looks like they are turning their attention there. Meteos headed up to take a look at Seraph this time around. It looked pretty decent. There's no trip easily to run to, and suddenly Seraph's on the wrong side of this one. He's trying to run away. his here as Elise is coming up. Yeah, but the rest of P1 are coming in as well. They're not too far behind. Stun's gonna land immediately. He turns invisible, I believe, just in time to buy a bit more. Now can he leap away? That's on cooldown. Still heals up. Still running towards the brush. And this, they try to reveal him. He jumps oh, away. He's gonna stay alive a little bit longer, but Lyra finally turns him around. Now how's the trade kill gonna go? Ryu dangerously injured. Zig chunked out of the front line. Has, he only has to flash out also, and that is a team fight win so far for Envy. As a parting shot comes through for Apollo! Oh! Arrow gets one back as well. Speaking of parting shots. I can do that too. Arrow, nice deadly flourish. Able to equalize the kills. Keeping the game pretty close. 1300 only the deficit. He needs one half. Claude back in and they still have those earlier drakes. Root on to Lyra. Hakko coming back in on this one though. Take pretty tanky. Now the chase on a ninja. That's going to be a nice stun. Arrow. Arrow landing a lot of those shots and gets one finally. The bullets come through. Now the re-engage on towards Meteos, rooted in place, has nowhere Woo! to go. The CC lasts about seven decades. He does get out of that one. Sandy Eye is available. Ryu's no. pressuring Seraph, but uh, they're making the call to try and help that turret and not use the Stand United to take the numbers advantage. The extra movement speed along with the deep vision that Phoenix one half should be able to set him up. Nice juke away by Ninja. Takes two shots, gets out. Now here comes the push towards the front. Lyra takes the shield, is very durable. Will there be a team fight? Teleport coming in for Zig. Does he want it? Does he cancel? He's going to stay with the team. Let's make sure they don't get re-engaged upon. Well, you know, not only the gold has been equalizing for Phoenix One, but also the vision coverage. Oh, oh. He's still dead to leap. Oh, he gets to wait for a little <laughs> bit. We'll just get him cracked. Uh, Juke. Fix that with a and flash. There we go. Got him with a flash. All right, trade of summoners. Meteos gets a solo kill. His first kill of the game, his first kill on Phoenix Ooh, One. Happy and now wants him to Apollo as well. But <laughs> Rooted in the turret, maybe a bit more than he wanted. Someone who arrow comes in too late, and I don't think it would have meant anything anyway. I don't even know if Envy have actually seen a Drake this game. It feels like they don't care oh. about him. No, Guard look at Baron here. Uh, this is super risky, though. 8,000 health Baron. There's no way you get through it. You have to turn. Not just yeah, but they are trying to find the turn. They're not going to find a Zig. Ulti just not going to get popped, but he's down to half HP. Can they get much more bullet time? 
juked pretty well. Yeah. Vera's still tanky as Zik gets a big shield, pops the ulti, Ninja at half. And they're able even, to cut away. Even with Phoenix 1 missing a lot of the big ults from, you know, Arrow and Adrian not, not getting a lot of damage out of either of those, they still stop the Baron. They're able to disengage in time. They're well, forcing out the Shen. Shen's far away. He should have ulti available, so we'll see if the fight can actually start here and go well for Team Envy. Looking for the fun. Burning it! The Baron, and it's going to be picked up by Meteos. He lands the spite. Lear didn't hit it in time. How about the kills? Well, Meteos has gone down. One for zero Envy. Looking for Zig in the front line, does have Flash, not gonna pop it yet, wants to bait him through, jumps in, and the re-engage comes through, but he just died. Two for one, three for one so far. Zig's gotta run, Arrow, the other one alive here, and that's a team fight victory for Envy. They've gotta make something work off of this Baron take, though. Oftentimes you do see the last one for upgrades come through for support misfortune. Something is wrong, Freak, when the supports are building lethality. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Misfortune is barely a support. <laughs> I guess. Like, she's a conventional marksman who has to build a side still. This is a fair point, but... Oh, Ryu gets oh, tied! They Ryu's got the pick they so. want! Oh, he played way too up. They did not have vision control. Dick's basing. There's the teleport. He's coming in, but yeah, it's at 4,000. 4K HP. Here comes the Jin Here comes the TP flank as well. Zig, who's he going to find? Doesn't look for Sarah. Doesn't look for Ninja just yet. Here's the taunt on in, but that makes... Uh, Maokai is very, very tanky. Starting to get burned down. Garden Angel is available. Bullet time only really hit Sarah, but chunks him a bit injured, and that's GA down. Lots of roots come through. Midios caught up from the ult. He's going to get first to that with this one. Garden Angel dropped. Lyra getting the shield. Can they kill him in time? And no, oh, yeah. Oh, they're all Be coming back up. Bit of a one for one. Guardian Angel for a kill. The snipe almost landed. I think Apollo actually flashed after he let go of the Q, so mechanical misplay there. Oops. I, I think that both Meteos and Lyra's GAs were also popped in addition yes. to the two tanks. Yes. So we got a bunch of those out of the way. Seraph doesn't even have one, so he just never got Teleport that back here for Seraph, though. They're going to continue to force it. Can Meteos go for a steal? And it's a 5v4, and Seraph could actually turn into a fight if he wanted to. Misses the taunt onto Arrow, gets a slow. The other could be have to get off the kill onto Jin. Exhaust on to buy some time. Oh, Meteos maybe. turning one around, but that's going to be Baron Nash at 2k HP. Oh! He can't quite get it, though. This time secured by Lyra, but Envy now have all the tools they need to really push this game open. 4v3 on the map plus a Baron. Huge wave top. Phoenix 1 Oh, and he oh, Arrow got another one. Arrow oh. trying desperately to keep his team in the game. Mid lane inhibitor turret to take some damage. Apollo has a red buff, applies the debuff. Now comes the re-engage. Lear taking a lot from the bullet time. You can see Fairbit coming out of the misfortune. Ryu chunked out to one third though. And out go the tanks. Medios knows better than to really dive into this one and won't find much more, but that is a reprieve gain for Phoenix One. Oh. Taking a lot of the threat out, and here they go. Looking for the play. It's going to be actually pretty outplayed by uh, P1. They get away from most of the knockbacks, but now Zig locked up at the front line. Too much damage coming through. Azir does a million and a half, and Seraph somehow gets killed on his uh, lane opponent. Seraph's holding the front line, and Phoenix 1 can't get anything done. The front line too beefy. The ninja really putting through a lot of the damage in the team fights here. Full build Azir. Able to get in there for the play as well. And he's got the confidence of the Zonias plus the extra health. So Envy. Patching up some of their late game stuff. Back to back team fight victories. This mid inhibitor turret is so low. They just want to get in there and touch it. But here comes the all in for Phoenix One. Looking to get some kills off. Exhaust onto Lyra. The two tanks. One rooted up now as well by Zig. And they finally got through the Guardian Angel for the second time now. Ninja is in the mix though. Does plenty of damage. And no one can quite get back onto Lyra. Maybe it's going to be the curtain call for it. They almost failed to block, but they're going to get the rest of the shots out of the way. And actually misses two of the shots anyway. So not too bad. Ryu. Forced to cut away from the Hakuho Stranglethorns, actually. Has a bit more time. And look at this. Envy right away going back into the bot side of the map. Deadly Flourish buys a little bit. They see Hakuho on the side. Zig, does he want in? The answer is no. And a quick TP. For the flank. Seraph has rejoined the fight, though. Full HP on the Shen. Medios, even though he has a Guardian Angel, is not in a spot to really dive into the team. So Whew. it's an inhibitor turret take. And you know, a decent enough battle for Team Envy yet again. Okay. If he one-shots Ninja, I take it all back. But And hey, if that happens, then good for him, right? Like, if he gets the shot, then that's cool. Adrian, face tanks the piercing air. Meteos taunted up by Seraph, has Garden Angel. Jumps away, though, and the re-engage comes through onto Shen. Bit of damage on Apollo, just engage, have to run away now from Hakuho. Can't quite land the root, but still plenty of damage coming through. Now the current call, let's get onto the front line. Seraph taking some shots. Ninja as well, trying to thread the needle and hit him in the Ooh. backside. Package getting Ryu away, nearly died. Super low health bars on Phoenix 1. A couple of low ones on Team Envy as well, but still feels like advantage. Blue team, 8,000 gold up, and map control remains. The rest of the team, of course, showing on mid lane. Maybe they don't think of it, but you can see them walking over. Lyra's like, wait a second, they're on this. Adrian chunked down a half as well from the poke. He's got to respect piercing arrow from Apollo. Oh. And he barely gives them it. 
Is he getting caught up on the outside? I don't know if they want to all in on it, though. He's getting chunked down. Half health. Yeah, he's already used Locker for the state. Wow, actually blocked up by an Azir soldier? I didn't know that even existed, but he couldn't run away, and I'm pretty sure that was from Arise. Today I learned, I guess. Um, but Vig's going to have to recall and TP back into this, maybe. As Worth Seraph it. Split pushing in the bot lane pretty nicely. And once again, on the Baron. They're just Envy inviting Phoenix 1 to misplay here. Looking for the opportunities to poke. Looking for the damage output. Maybe this time it happens. 4,000 health on the Baron. They've got to go for the seal pretty soon. Looking in. Oh, rejected. Meteos actually gets the return trip thanks to Ninja. And the first kill comes through anyway. This could be the fight they want. The crit. 1,900 damage from Arrow. Takes down Akuho. Meteos taking it up. He's going to be fine. Guardian Angel popped off a of Seraph. And this could be the fight that Phoenix 1 needed. They rise from the ashes. Are you kidding me with that? I want to oh, see that replay. No. They're going to take down Apollo here, and this is probably going to be a push in to end the game, but I got to see that replay again oh because my gosh. Ninja got the Azir wall rejecting Meteos, but I think he got close enough to land the smite. To land the smite and grab the Baron buff for them. So makes his way back onto the LCS stage. There you go. Made the game winning play. <laughs> this is going to be all she wrote. I feel like the respawn timer is 30 seconds long. It might be enough for P1 to close it out in the 57th minute. 11-11 in kills, still down 3k in goal, but I don't think Lyra can 1v5 this one. This is going to be GG. Looks in for Meteos, not going to matter. Down goes the Spider, down go the Nexus turrets, and Phoenix 1 had to work really hard for it. But at the end of the day, they take down game one, and there's the man on your screen, Meteos. His first game on P1, officially part of the roster.